My name is Todd Lorenz. I'm with the University of Missouri Extension. I'm a field specialist in agronomy. The demonstration I'm going to show you here today is alternatives to a pit. Sometimes we don't always have uh, heavy equipment where we can dig a nice pit. Sometimes the weather is not cooperative. Sometimes we don't feel like getting out there with a shovel, shovel and digging that pit by hand. I'm going to demonstrate how you can use a core sampler in place of a pit. If the weather is inclement, it doesn't take too long to go out and take a core sample. You can run back inside and still uh, demonstrate uh, what an individual might see in a pit. And so this is just a standard. Uh, it's an inch and a half core in difference to what most folks are familiar with, with uh, soil testing uh, probes, which are three quarters. This is actually an inch and a half probe. So it gives you a good volume of soil. The other thing about it is, this is called a JMC Backsaber probe. I've got an 18 inch sampler on it. I can pull out the 18 inch sample and pull it out of the tube and place it in a half cut PVC pipe. And then I can put this probe right back into the ground and take another sample another 18 inch inches deep. And so that gives us a pretty substantial amount of soil profile that we're going to work with. Uh, for this presentation, I'm just going to give the 18 inches. And we've got a lot of soil structure here that we can demonstrate. So one of the things that we can do now, as I mentioned, is this thing can slide out and we can push it into a piece of PVC to help maintain the integrity of the profile. If you look at this real close, uh, one of the first things I notice is we already see a, a worm channel right here. Okay, I can gracefully pick this apart and we can follow the root mass all the way down this profile. And so I'm still finding roots in there as I'm picking this apart. As you're picking it apart, you can also figure out where any sort of platy structure or any sort of uh, uh, soil types are involving. So now I've reached down here about 8 to 10 inches and I'm starting to pick up a little bit heavier clay. One of the things that uh, picking it apart and seeing the rooting structure and how far it, it goes down talks about the soil permeability. The roots have the ability to go on down in here and, and get through some of this profile. If we have a compacted soil, we're going to have a platy like structure where the soils are just stacked really tight together. When the roots get to that platy structure, uh, sometimes they are slowed down and they can't get through it or they actually in some cases turn horizontally as well. So when we see great depth with our rooting, we know that we have good soil structure. So this would be a good demonstration uh, to do like in a no-till, pull a no-till sample out, pull a perennial uh, sample out like we have here, which is a tall fescue and then to go out into a conventional row crop field. You could have those laying side by side, pick them apart just like this, and quite frankly, probably in a lot of cases, a lot easier than a pit. I think nothing substitutes for the pit, getting down and dirty, but when you don't have that opportunity, this is certainly a method that we can use for good educational purposes. <laughs>